Ah, no, you're having me on. <laughs> I swear to God. A hundred pound fine and a warning, that's all I got. <laughs> what did you say to that daft judge? I thought I was as guilty as sin. <laughs> This is Gareth, the detective, Chris Mulligan. Please leave a message. Ah, oh, you didn't get me this time, Chris. I've still got my wheel. Veronica? 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 for one of these? Uh, a few quid. It's cheaper than someone else's needle. I'm writing a piece for the paper. I want to know, where do you get the gear? I'll come back when you got a bit of money. Ah, jeez, come on, Chris. You have to give me something. Look, we both want to get our hands on Mr. Untouchable. Yeah? And what are you going to do when you get him? Your paper's so scared that some big criminal is going to sue them. Well, at least people will know what he's up to. But does that help me put in my bars, Veronica? Does it? Look, if you just give me a name, then at least I could go after the other wankers. OK. Here's the latest candidate. Just in from Interpol. John Gilligan. One year for a Portish prison, and this lowlife has £300,000 to launder in an Amsterdam casino. Gilligan? He's definitely keeping a low profile. For the coach every day is Lotto Day. His Swiss cam was such a stroke. What took you so long? The traffic. Nothing to do with that woman who writes for the Sunday Independent. Ah, she fancies me. So humour. <laughs> you know why I'm so successful, John? Nobody knows what I'm doing. If that bitch ever mentions my name, you pay. So you like playing the little gangster, do you? You little prick! Do you want a bit of that, do you? Huh? How do I feel now, you little fucker, you? It's okay. Who's the fucking genius messing with the gun around my horses? You don't insult my boys, Jerry, unless you want a little taste of this yourself. A little word of advice too, John Boy. You keep your fucking mouth shut. Tell me about Gilligan. Who? Is he providing the hash and heroin to Mitchell? Sorry, can't help you there, Veronica. Don't know nothing about him. I'll see you around, John. I'm Veronica Gearan from the Sunday Independent. I'm here to talk to you about your property ownership and where you got the money. Go! Fucking bitch! Ah! The no! bitch! No! Fucking bitch! Ah! Fucking, ah! fucking bitch! Ah! Get off my property, you ah! fucking bitch! You wear the wire! Ah! You wear the fucking wire! You cunt! Get off! Fuck it! Out! <laughs> oh my god, Veronica! Oh my god, what happened? <laughs> you don't have to do this. Ronnie, stop.
stop it now for everyone's sake. So, what do you want to know? I want to know where you and your boys launder all the money you're getting from the drug dealing. Are you saying I'm a drug dealer? <laughs> the two car franchises, the yacht, the house, the holidays. Come on, John. Ah, uh, look it. I'm small time Veronica. A minor player. What are you writing about anyway? <laughs> you. Me? <laughs> I'm going to call you a drug dealer. And I'm going to name you. You do that, and I'm a fucking dead man. Oh, you poor fella. Get your hand off my car, John. Yeah. She'll be at the Nays Courthouse tomorrow morning. This is Gareth, the detective Chris Mulligan. Please leave a message. Within a week of her death, during an emergency session of Parliament, the government altered the Constitution to allow the High Court to freeze and seize unexplained wealth and assets from suspected criminals. Brian Meehan was sentenced to life imprisonment for the murder of Veronica Guerin. John Trainer escaped to Portugal and continues to fight extradition to Ireland on charges of murder. His assets were seized by the CAB. John Gilligan was sentenced to 28 years in prison for drug trafficking. His assets were seized by CAB. By the following year, crime rates had dropped 15%. Everyone in the Republic of Ireland remembers where they were when they heard that Veronica Guerin had been murdered on the Nace Road. The sun will rise on one more day.